centrist districts. The districts are polarized, and the independents aren't centrists. Fact is, there are very few districts in which it makes electoral sense to please newspaper columnists and cable news hosts. Stand for something, fight for the people. Imagine thinking that newspaper columnists are like massive centrists. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or that cable news hosts are massive centrists. Like, yeah. like how well, far left does this guy have to be to think that? They work for corporations and oh, corporations <laughs> enlist journalists to manufacture consent to push their <laughs> corporate agenda. Have you heard? Neoliberal cable yep. news hosts. Oh, no. Do you guys ever Hashtag watch... Hashtag Noam um, Chomsky. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys ever watch um, Rising on the Hill channel? Yes, yeah. With totally. Crystal Ball and Sagar and Joe. Oh, I've, yeah, I've seen that a couple of times. They pull the corporate media manufacturing consent <laughs> bullshit all the time. It's like, you know the Hill is owned by a really? corporation. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're really? like, the mainstream media manufactures consent. It's like, well, okay, who who are you manufacturing consent for? Right. You got a job with the corporate media. Oh, but mm. it's not true in your case. Of course not. No, the hill is special. Look, the hill Who is special. Who are we manufacturing? They're, they're, they're the they're the media company that did the poll that showed that conservatives overwhelmingly want Medicare for all. Okay, oh, yeah. they know what's up. Are we manufacturing consent? What kind yes. of consent? What consent we do, are we manufacturing? We do need to. I like when I if I go to the hill. I feel website, like I'm manufacturing anti-consent. Like, don't consent to anything, guys. <laughs> for heaven's sakes, fight yeah, centrism. That's who I like when I go to the hills. Part website at right at the top it says sponsored global lenses united arab emirates <laughs> what oh my god jesus christ there you go you know, that's who they're global the lenses for. united arab emirates tells a series of stories through an engaging narrative about the strong bilateral partnership of the uae and the u.s share great Sweet. wonderful amazing mm. People and furthermore, many centrist Democrats ran terrible campaigns. In 2018, Dems flipped 41 House seats. 13 of those new members leaned so hard to the right they won awards from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Six of them just lost. One's too close to call. Another the, is Spanberger. Um, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce endorsed the New Deal when mm -hmm. during FDR's second term. So it's not like they're this super right-wing organization. Well, but also, think of how ridiculous this is. He says, 13 of these new members lean so hard right, they won awards from the spooky U.S. Chamber of Commerce, and six of them lost. So half? <laughs> so it's a 50-50 yeah. flip here? I'm like, sure. Yeah, he's ba basically, he's just taking whoever lost and cherry-picking their conservative or centrist credentials and saying, aha, there you exactly. go. Right. That's why. Exactly. But apparently it worked for the other six or seven, so I don't know what the fuck yeah. he's talking well, about. That's because they, um, they said nice things about... Uh, about um a green new deal that's why if that must a, be it if yeah. it's a coin toss you have to look at some other factor like, there has to be some yeah. other factor that's going on here it's just it is just cherry picking exactly like you're saying blames the left and black lives matter for her tough race and when you dive deeper here <laughs> and you look at the types of democrats who lost and the ones who won you start to see a pattern emerge since your democrats had a lot of issues getting reelected whereas all of the incumbent progressives won their re-election every single one of them pramila jayapal he's Ro also Kana. ignoring progressives who lost their we their races yeah like kara eastman lost in nebraska's second district really? joe biden carried that district yeah she was a justice democrat so her second race in the row and she lost that race like, oh okay. so she was she was one that they got in with justice democrats and lost. Yep. so how come if if people want progressives how come she lost yeah biden carried the district you know, like it should have been a layup, but apparently not. Well, if Biden carried the district, then it's obviously the evil centrist that wanted to get the progressive out. Is voter well, fraud, right? And well, now that he, too, and... obviously. How many ballots did you print, Steve? We know your <laughs> fucking game here. <laughs> and now he's even moved on away from swing, just swing districts. He's like, well, every progressive has won their district. Oh, I know. Like, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. So all these people. And did you know that Ilan Omar and her super safe district? Yeah. In her plus 28 district, her plus 28 uh, Democratic district, she won. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. It must be because she has all these progressive policies. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, AOC. They all won. They they also they don't seem to understand that the the will of the people in the district is what drives the policies of the representative. Like the representative right. can't just come out with their own plan. 
that's completely against the makeup of their district and just start, you know, dictating to people. It's so funny that they think Adam, th- that that would work. That is what? totally not true. What uh, do you mean? America, America is an oligarchy. Oh, you okay. <laughs> you just see, you, you just tell them as it is. It's like Medicare for all. <laughs> shut up, bitch. Like you, you know, the corporations are just paying the politicians to say whatever, and then vote the way they want. Adam, okay. have you, I, this have, is the problem, I guess, of that manufacturing consent thing because they actually believe it. They believe that you can manufacture consent that people don't have their own like opinions yep. and preferences. Unless they're, okay, I love this is another thing I love. I love that they think that yeah, everybody's opinions are just manufactured unless they're progressive. In which case, that's their genuine opinion. Right? <laughs> So, you know, you the the way you pull something oftentimes determines the result. Oh, exactly. I'm sure, yeah, you guys have seen the you guys have seen the polls where the Affordable Care Act polls at sixty percent, but Obamacare polls at forty. <laughs> right. Like it's the exact same thing. And and the my favorite example, the classic example is sixty six percent of people, and they've been doing this since nineteen eighty. Sixty six percent of people say that they want the government to spend more money on the poor. But only 33% of people say they want the government to spend more money on welfare. They're the same thing. So what I want to know is how do you know which one is genuinely representative of the American people? Yeah. They're I submit holes. to you, you can't know that. But of course, um, uh, humanist report would say, well, obviously it's the, um, the number that favors me in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Now it is the case that, outsider Democrats who were not elected, who were not incumbents, a lot of them were progressives that lost. But when it comes to incumbent Democrats, they- Look at that. Centrist Democrat. I know. I was going to say. Look at that bald loser. You look at his jawline. The thing- yeah. Really weird. Look at that John McCain looking motherfucker. Fuck that expression, guy. that expression though, does say loser. Like he handpicked that picture. He's <laughs> like, oh my God. He's like, I fucked up. Am I, am I the only one who's weirded out by his jawline? Seems very odd to me. He's got the John that McCain face. Out? How dare you? Maybe he got stung by a beast. Yeah, you don't leave know. him alone. You don't know. Maybe. It's all that corporate cr- cash he's swallowing. That's oh, it's <laughs> true. He's he's yeah, hugging it away in his cheeks. Like a snake to suck in all that money. <laughs> he's got it wadded up in the cheeks there. I can see it. I can like see like monk. fifty. I can see like cash. fifty dollar bills. He's re- he's gonna go next time. He's gonna he's gonna win next time. He simply did not turn out. The vote and as max kennerly points out i mean when you see this sort of polarization how many people are in the middle nobody's a centrist nobody's in the middle nobody is it weird that the whole (laughs) video he has a picture of a quote-unquote centrist democrat who won her swing district like looking over his shoulder the entire time (laughs) yeah definitely that's like father christmas there assessing her naughty list (laughs) (laughs) oh in the middle directly of the Republican and Democratic Party's ideologies. Everyone is either on one side or the other, and each election is going to come down to whether or not the Democrat in that particular district was able to excite their base. And it's not just about policy and I- That's so bonkers, because if the base isn't in the district, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> like, right. Well, he, I mean, he's operating under this idea that like, oh, there's the like huge, un- like every American who doesn't vote in in America is just a progressive. Untapped to progressive. Yes. Yeah, that's, if you listen to like Jimmy Dore and stuff, their whole thing is, well, you would have won if you were more progressive because all of these people would have come out and voted for you. Right. And All, all the people who can't be bothered to show up <laughs> for, yeah. for the election with the highest, highest turnout in American history, all those people, yeah. Those are the people you really want to court. Well, and I love that, like, they're so, or like, you know, they're progressive, but if you just offer them up a centrist Democrat, they'll vote for Republicans instead. (laughs) Yeah, that makes total sense. Exactly. Give us one of those hard right wing, you know, authoritarians. That's what we really want as centrists. (laughs) Their Their whole line is like, if you give them, if they have a choice between a Republican and a diet Republican, they're going to choose the real Republican. It's like, well, if they're a progressive, then, and they're not completely stupid, then they would choose the, the lesser of the two evils. But I guess, yeah. you know, now look, like that always. if I want, if I want a full sandwich and someone's saying, well, I can give you two thirds of a, of a sandwich, 
and someone else is saying, well, I can flick you off and spit in your face. <laughs> I'm obviously going to take the guy who's going to flick me off and spit in my face. Because oh, gosh boy. darn it, I want it all or I want nothing. Well, that guy was trying to jip you out of a third of a sandwich. Six. Six. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Of course. Open your mouth. I'm spitting. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, and also his, his whole point is completely bullshit because, as I said earlier, Whenever it's poll- whenever it's co- uh, compared in polls, the public option always polls much higher than mm-hmm. Medicare for all. So Are we going to get the public option? Is that going to be a Biden thing? Are we well, actually going to get We're going to see. We're going to see. Well, it. and they're progressives are so goddamn stupid. Like they don't get <laughs> that like a public option could easily be a gateway to single payer. Totally. You, no. That was that was. It is the of, gateway. What are you well, talking yeah, about? That was. One of the reasons why people were so fearful of passing a public option during the Obamacare debates is because there was the weak public option and the strong public option. The strong public option was going to raise its own money and outprice private insurers and eventually put them out of competition and be the only game in town. That's what a lot of people wanted to do, but people saw that it was a cloak and dagger attempt at single payer, so they shot that down. The weak mm-hmm. public option is one that prices the same as insurance companies. So yeah. like either way, it's you know you're it's a step in the right direction if you want single payer healthcare. But you know they all they think that if only you know the president would make a rousing speech in front of people that yeah manufacture some single payer healthcare. Yeah, they get single payer healthcare if, and like if we went on a general strike, I, that's I want thing unicorns and like eternal life. Can he just give me a speech for that? A rousing <laughs> yes. speech. You know how we can do that, Adam? We go on a general strike. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing if it. If no I one want shows my, up to I work. I want my unicorn. <laughs> yeah, we'll get, I'll get unicorns. But if he only says that he's going to give us regular horses and oh, an 100 years of Oh, screw that. I'm, I'm taking the, for that. Fuck no, that guy. I'm taking well the concentration camp over there. Yeah. 